Hi, Pam Harris here, and today I just wanted to come on and talk with you about the power of being consistent. It is so important that whatever we do, that we're consistent with it. When I started my uh, marketing online, the first thing I company that I started working with was Easy One Up, and every day I do something to promote my business. I'm either doing a video, as I've done here, or I am sending out emails, posting on Facebook, but I'm always being consistent, meaning doing something daily in order to help promote my business. Now, when I say consistent, it doesn't just start and stop with my business. It even goes on into my personal life. Like if I say I'm going to work out uh, 30 minutes a day, I need to work out 30 minutes a day. And let's say something comes up and I don't uh, have an opportunity of doing it, then I don't beat myself up over it, but I say, okay, I have got to get back on track because I find that the results I'm looking for will come if I am consistent in whatever I do. That's just like if you decide you're going to start, um, like some people say, I'm going to stop eating bread, you know, for whatever reason, uh, depending on what your needs are and then they slip up and eat some. Don't beat yourself up over, but make certain that you focus on what you're trying to accomplish and keep that in mind. I have a friend that um, talked to me, talks about consistency, and I wanna just share what he is saying about consistency and how important it is to do it on a daily basis uh, so that you will be able to have a better idea of exactly what I mean. Now, the reason I'm sharing this friend with you is because he started um, online marketing years ago, and by doing so and being consistent, he is now a seven, close to an eight-figure earner. All of us can do it. It's just a point of being consistent. And with that being said, I want you to listen to Josh and just take some of the tips from him and then I'll be back, okay? And talk about the power of being consistent in your business and the power of doing things when you don't feel like doing them, right? So many people fail in business because they're not doing tasks that put money inside their pocket every single day, right? They're spinning their wheels, spending time trying to find the shortcut, trying to find a quicker way to get to their end goal instead of just putting their head down and going to work. And that's something that, you know, I really focus on every day is just doing something inside of my business, whether it's sending out an email, whether it's doing a quick video, whether it's checking in with my team, right? So many people are continuing to think that they need to learn something more before they take action. They feel like they need to perfect everything and put all their ducks in a row before they actually complete you know, and take action inside their business. And the truth is, is you guys don't need to do this, right? One of my mentors said, passion on fire is better than knowledge on ice, right? Taking action, imperfect action, is better than trying to take perfect action because if you try and take perfect action, chances are you're never going to complete what you need to complete and it's not gonna be up to your standard. So I wanna inspire you this week to go out there and just take massive action. Don't look at the end result. Don't get attached to the end result. Forget about the naysayers. Forget about the negative comments. Forget about what your friends and your family and everybody else thinks. This is about you. This is about growing you. And your income's going to grow to the extent that you do. But the only way that you're gonna grow is through pressure, is through pain, is through enduring, right? Diamonds are created from pressure, muscles built from some sort of um, pressure, right? Some sort of you know, weight, some sort of resistance. And the same thing goes for your business. If you're not adding weight to yourself mentally, if you're not taking action, if you're not doing things when you don't feel like doing them, what's gonna happen is your confidence account is gonna go down. What's your confidence account? Well, every single day there's things, there's events happening in your life 
that either increase your confidence or decrease your confidence, right? So when you set a goal, right? Let's say you promise yourself you're gonna go to the gym five times this week, right? But you end up going to the gym three times. What's gonna happen? Your brain's gonna tell yourself, oh my gosh, you know what? I didn't keep my promise. I can't do this. And that's gonna decrease your confidence. So the next time you go and try and complete that, that task or that goal, you're gonna tell yourself, you're gonna remind yourself the last time you set that goal, you didn't complete it, right? And so what you wanna do is number one, set at first obtainable goals, take baby steps, gamify it, make it fun. So maybe the first week you create two pieces of content for your business or you work out two times a week and then you actually complete that, right? You do what you promised yourself you would do. The next week you do it three times or four times, so on and so forth. So as you make these promises to yourself and you complete these tasks, then you're gonna build that confidence account and then you can further gamify it. You can get to a point where, for example, in my business, one of my first goals was to make $5, it's $5 a day inside my business. And I'm like, okay, if I make $5 a day inside my business, that's like a $5 foot long from Subway, right? And so I thought that was pretty cool. I'm like, I'm gonna earn a sandwich a day in my online business. And once I hit that, I gamified it I gamified it to $10 a day. I'm like, okay, that's a combo meal. Pretty healthy combo meal, right? So $10 a day. And then once I hit $10 a day, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna hit $20 a day. That's about, you know, nine holes of golf. So let's do that. I'm gonna earn nine holes of golf every single day. And you can gamify this the way that you want to, to make it fun and enjoyable for yourself. But the idea is to not think that you gotta work eight hours a day to obtain your goals, or you gotta kill yourself in the gym to obtain your goals, right? It's like the old cliche, you wanna work smart, not just work hard. But how about you work smart and you work hard, okay? And you enjoy the process, enjoy the process. So we have these big audacious goals, and we think that we have to like, give it our all for like, and grind it out, you know, for days upon end. And then what happens is, is when we don't live up to these expectations, we tell ourselves that we're not good enough. And then it's just a repetitive, perpetual cycle of us telling this stuff. And then we end up not trying that goal again because of what happened previously. So I hope you got value from this video. I hope your biggest takeaway is the fact that you should just go out there, be consistent, take action regardless of how you feel, right? And don't give yourself longer than five seconds to make a decision because then you'll start to talk yourself out of whatever it is that you're supposed to do at any given moment in time, right? So if you've got to go to the gym, count to five and then say, I'm going to the gym and go do it. Don't think about anything else because then you're just gonna talk yourself out of it. If it's working on your business, if it's you know, doing something you just absolutely hate to do but you know it's gonna help you grow, go and do it. So with that said, this is Josh. Okay, you've heard Josh and you've heard him talk about consistency. This is what I'd like for you to start making up in your mind that you're going to do today. Uh, if you haven't done already, haven't done this already, what I'd like for you to do is subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell right beside it. Hopefully you've received a lot of value here and you want to uh, be notified the next time I come out with a video. Also, I'd like for you to like and share my channel with um, your family and friends. Now, being consistent is what we're going to do. Being consistent is what we want. Being consistent is something that we're going to start today. Down below I, have, uh, list below, I have listed some of the actions that I've taken and some of the programs that I have been consistent in and I am starting now. So today is your day to start being consistent in your online marketing or your offline marketing, but be consistent in whatever you do. Thanks again for tuning into the channel and I'll see you on the next video. Again, this is Pam Hammond.